Hi, first graders. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the reading room. Okay, so we're still working on Mean Idea, um, but today we're going to read like a Christmas holiday book, and it goes along with um, Mrs. Heller's teaching about reindeer, so I thought we could read a story called All of the Other Reindeer. Now, before I read this story, I want to ask you, have you ever misheard somebody? Now, that means like, have you ever thought you heard something one way, but you really heard it wrong and it was something totally different? Um, or maybe you've heard it for a, like you've heard, you thought it was that thing for a long time. Like, I want to give you an example because you might be looking at me like, what are you talking about, Mrs. Okay, this thing right here. Yeah, you might think it's a folder. Some of you might be like, I have no idea what that is. This is called a manila folder. Now, when I was little, I thought they were called vanilla folders with a V. So for the longest time, I thought people said vanilla folders and I called them vanilla folders. Then one day, one of my friends said, when I said, hey, can you get me a vanilla folder? They were like, hmm, Miss Knows, what did you just say? I was like, a vanilla folder. And they were like, manila folder. And I was like, vanilla. And they were like, manila. So I was mishearing something. I heard something that I thought was that, and I went with it. Um, but these are really called manila folders. So there's not vanilla, even though it kind of looks like a vanilla color. So now you learn that. Or um, one time my friend was making me a sandwich, and they said, um, do you want mayonnaise on that? And at first, because they said it really fast. Do you want mayonnaise on that? I thought they said band-aids. And I was like, band-aids? I don't want band-aids on my sandwich. I was like, band-aids? And they're like, mayonnaise. I was like, oh, mayonnaise, you said it so fast. I thought you said mayonnaise, band-aids. See how they can kind of sound alike, but they're totally different things? So maybe that's happened before to you. Maybe your parents said something. You were like, wait, what? What do you want me to do? Because you thought you heard something and that doesn't really seem right. Um, well, that's what happens to our friend, all of the other reindeer. So I'm going to read, we're going to read together. I'm going to show you what I mean, but Olive mishears something and then totally goes with it. All right. So all of the under, other reindeer. Oh, the author's kind of hard to see and illustrate. So it's Jay Otto and then Vivian Walsh are the authors and illustrators of the story. So all of the other reindeer. These are main characters. Or it's a she. I don't know yet. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's a girl. Okay. Every day, Olive took her daily dog walk in winter, in spring, in summer, and fall. And today was a winter's day. It was the holidays and there was music playing outside. Um, I don't know if you've ever been somewhere when you're maybe shopping outside. Sometimes they play music um, through the streets. So people were singing along to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And the one part that goes, all of the other reindeer. Olive was too shy to sing, so she went... <laughs> she hummed. So all of the other reindeer. Back at her doghouse, Olive was wrapping presents and listening to the radio. She heard that same song again. All of the other reindeer went the song. And then she finally sang around. All of the other reindeer. Olive sang along. Wait a second. All of the other reindeer, said Olive. I thought it was a dog. Hmm, it must be a reindeer. <laughs> it was the time of year when all the reindeer reported to the North Pole to help Santa Claus. So Olive put down her scissors carefully and marched out the door. Olive! See, this is where she should probably ask someone. You know how I said to my friend when, he, when they said, do you want mayonnaise on your sandwich? And I said, did you say band-aids? Right? You should clarify that means like double check what you heard. She doesn't, she just goes, all of the other reindeer. And she goes, my name's Olive. I'm a reindeer, who knew? So off she goes. So she took one bus and then two buses. It says the Polar Express here, but that's a different type of Polar Express than I know. She got there just in time. Santa was checking his list for the second time. Elves were busy helping the reindeer and loading the sleigh with presents for all the good girls and boys, and everyone was getting ready to go. And there's all of the dog. He's like, she's like, hey, I'm a reindeer. I'm supposed to be here. That's what the song said. No, it doesn't. Olive took her place. Santa, Santa noticed there was a little dog in the lineup. Santa knew a lot about dogs. For instance, they can't fly. But it was time to go, so he decided to give Olive a chance. Comet, the biggest reindeer, used a piece of extra ribbon to make sure Olive was tied in safe and tight. Now they were ready to go. 
Oh boy. Olive was surprised it was so easy to fly. Is she really flying? I don't think so. Okay, we'll go back. The other reindeer were very curious about the new helper. They looked at Olive so much they, were, they weren't watching where they were going. Uh-oh. Crash! They flew smack into the top of a tall tree. Oh dear, said Santa. My sleigh is stuck in, the tree, in this tree. I'll have to cut it free. Olive clung to the side of the tree. She tried to fly up to help Santa, but she could not. Because she can't fly. She climbed up slowly and started chewing. Chewing sticks was something Olive could do. Well, thank you, Olive, said Santa Claus, as they got back on their way. So she was doing some chewing to help them get out of there. Get out of this tree right here. They had not traveled far when Olive's nose began to twitch. Olive smelled trouble. It was a smell of gumdrop candies as they fell from the sleigh. Drop, drop. Dogs are really good at smelling. Olive barked and Santa knew what to do. He steered the reindeer down and around so that all the gumdrops fell plop, 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 back in the toy sack. All right, so good thing Olive was there, right? The other reindeer couldn't smell, but the dog nose and her was like, I smell something. There's gumdrops falling. We were very lucky to not lose a single gumdrop, thought Olive. Then she heard a strange sound. It was a music note. She spun around on her string to see the night sky filled with flying flutes, and they were falling. Olive had to howl louder than the wind instruments. This was not music to Santa's ears. First gumdrops and now flutes, thought Santa. That tree must have torn a hole in my sleigh. Prepare for an emergency landing, Santa instructed. The sleigh landed in a snowy field full of flutes. Luckily, Olive was very good at fetching sticks. It is something dogs love to do. Oh, so good. So all the flutes, not good that the flutes fell, right? But good thing they have Olive here, right? Olive was like fetching all the flutes. She's like, I'm good at this. This is what I can do. I can hear things, smell things. I'm really good at fetching, right? So good thing Olive's there. Before Santa had finished patching the hole in the sleigh, Olive had returned each and every flute back to the sack. Ho, 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 said Santa. We're ready to go. They were running late, but after a while, all the good children received their presents and Santa and his team headed home. All right, so they made it just in time. They were almost home when they got caught in the dreaded North Pole fog. The reindeer slowed down until it was only the breeze that moved them along. The fog was as thick as a pillow. It made everyone feel sleepy. Then Santa remembered something about dogs. They are expert smellers. Olive, I hate to be late for breakfast this year, he said. Miss Claus has planned a parade of cookies. Um, mm, you can al almost smell them, can't you? Olive could smell the cookies. Olive, won't you guide my sleigh tonight or this morning? Asked Santa. Olive moved to the front of the reindeer. Hey, the song's kind of coming true for him. So they were in this like really foggy, um, you know what fog is? It's like it's hard to see outside. It's almost like you're in a cloud. Sometimes that happens around here. They couldn't see. The reindeer couldn't see. And the dogs, they don't really have that best eyesight, but the dog, um, Olive, could smell, right? So she smelled the cookies, and she went towards closer and closer to this cookie smell, and that's how they got home. Thanks to Olive's nose and Mrs. Claus baking, they made it all the way back to the North Pole. All of the owl, all the elves sang out and cheer, Hooray, hooray, Santa the reindeer and the little doggy are back. <laughs> They're probably like, little doggy, what, what's the dog doing with them? Back to the North Pole. Um, it was glorious morning. After eating lots of good food, it was time to open presents. The reindeer got jump ropes, and the elves got the reindeer got jump ropes. Anyway, and the elves got toy trains. Santa reached into his toy sack. There was just one present left. It was for Olive. It was her very own set of reindeer antlers. They fit perfectly. Then everyone went outside to play reindeer games. The end. Oh, she got some reindeer antlers. We learned about that in Mrs. Seller's room. So. <laughs> the story is kind of silly, but it, it also, like, what do you think the author was trying to tell you? What do you think that the main idea was of that story? Right. Olive came along, right, out of a big misunderstanding that she thought she was a reindeer and should report to uh, the North Pole. She should have talked to someone before that. But anyway, she had a misunderstanding. And, but what did she end up doing for Santa? Yeah, she actually ended up helping them. So I think the main idea here might have been Santa and the reindeer needed Olive's help, right? After all, like, it's a misunderstanding and they, like, let her join and everything. And there was a crash, but 
Olive was able to help them clean it up and find their way back and do all those things that the reindeer needed a little extra help this year with. So um, I think the main idea here would be Santa and the reindeer needed Olive's help. They didn't realize they needed it to begin with, but they actually needed it. How do I support that, right? This book right here, main idea, you know, it's about a dog that's confused. He's a re she's a reindeer, but she ended up helping the day anyway. What's some evidence, right? What's my supporting details here? Um, Olive um, could hear the flutes, right? That they were falling out. No one really could hear it through the wind, but since dogs have really good, good hearing, she could hear that the flutes were falling and she like barked. So she helped that way. So she helped with the flutes. Um, she also smelled the gumdrops that were falling, right? So she was helping there. Um, she also fetched all the flutes for them because she just thought that was fun. And what happened when it was really foggy? Yeah, she could smell the cookies. She had to smell her way to help. So she, so the Santa was like, won't you guide our sleigh tonight, right? So she got out front and then she, they like needed her after all to get through the fog, right? I guess, I guess Rudolph wasn't joining them this time. So um, she could smell the cookies. So the main idea, Santa and Rainer actually needed Olive's help. And she was able to help in a bunch of different ways for them. Um, I really like that story. And now... Don't be afraid to ask when you mishear something, okay? Because you don't know if you're going to be in a certain situation or for a long time you're going to call them the wrong things. Don't be afraid to speak up and say, hey, what did you say? I think I heard you say this. Is this the right thing? Right? It could teach you something or correct your way. So um, hope you liked all the, the reindeer. And now um, make sure you read a story at home or on Raz Kids and try to figure out that main idea in there. What's the author trying to tell you? What's that story mostly about? And give some evidence, right? Be a good first grade detective. Give some evidence with that. Why, right? Why do you think that's the main idea? What's your sporting details? All right. And then make sure you check out all the other teachers' videos, okay? All right. Have a great day. Bye.